This is such a screw-up. Well, it ain't mine, pal. I just do what I'm told. Yeah, I'm not blaming you. It's her. She's a whack job. You do realize that, don't you? Having me arrested is totally insane. Hey, I'll tell you what's totally insane. Having someone chloroform you, kidnap you, and put you on a plane. It was for your own good. Damn it, Sheridan, those drug dealers were after you. Well, I'm doing this for your own good. Oh, what, having me thrown in jail? I'm teaching you a lesson, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. A lesson? I'm not going to let you push me around anymore. You know, I never saw this side of you. The Ice Princess. Who am I kidding? Of course I did. I just blocked it out. See, I wanted you to be something else. I wanted you to be someone else. I thought you were. No, I thought you were someone else besides a, a snob, stuck up, know-it-all crane. I guess I was just confused. Whatever I was, I never thought that you would stoop to something like this. You know, it's amazing how smoothly you can turn things around so that you become a victim. You know, before they toss me in the cell, can you just do me one favor? Can you tell me what I did to deserve this? What you did? Yeah. I mean, at least tell me that. You owe me that for all that I've done, or at least tried to do for you. I owe you! <laughs> what are you so angry with me about? Why are you trying to destroy my life? Would you just drop the innocent act? You know damn well why I'm angry. Because I made you get on the plane. Oh, so infuriating. No, Sheridan. What do you mean, no? It's why I had you arrested. Okay, that was the reason that you were angry with me on the plane. But this has been going on for weeks now. What has? It started back in Harmony. We started getting along. Things were going great. And then, bam, no explanation. You haul off. You slap me across the face. And that was the end of the good times. You decide to leave Harmony, fly back to Paris. You know, I started to feel like you left because something that I did to you. What did I do to you? What? Cranes have used and abused my family for years. Now I finally got a chance to use one of them. My spoiled princess, Sheridan. You mean to tell me that you have no idea why I slapped you? That's exactly what I'm saying. Now, I have asked you more than a couple times what I did, but you wouldn't tell me. Now, what did I do? There you go, playing innocent again. Sheridan, I am innocent. Look at me. Look in my eyes. My future is in your hands. Now, I want you to be straight with me, and I want you to be straight with yourself. Do you really believe that I did something terrible to you? Do you really believe that I would ever do something bad to you? So if the answer is no, then drop the charges. You want me to be straight with you? Well, how about we reverse that and you be straight with me for a change? For a change? Have you always been honest with me? What? Yes or no? Well, I, I guess I did lie to you about not telling you that I was going to chloroform you. <laughs> You guess. Look, I told you I had to get you on that plane. We've been over this before, Look, Sheridan. just forget the plane. Have there been other times? That I lied? You know what I'm talking about. Just stop stalling and be honest with me. I am. I'm being as honest as I possibly can. Except about the chloroform. Bull! Coffee? No, thanks. I'm Tina. I'm Sheridan. I know. Why do all men have to lie? <laughs> well, a lot do, no doubt about that. But you know, I was half listening to what was going down between you and Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. Don't get me wrong, I'm not siding with the guy because he's a cop. But I like to think I know how to read people. I got the feeling he was giving it to you straight. <sighs> well, you don't know him. Hmm. Nope. But I bet my badge is not out to hurt you. Luis can be a very decent man. He saved my life. Well, there you go. More than once. 
And that is what is so infuriating about all this, so mystifying. When one minute he's the hero, the next he's the villain. He saves me, then he uses me. It just, it makes no sense. You sure? The one thing I am sure about, I've given up trying to figure him out. Basic vanilla, one pistachio, two chocolate chunks. What's your poison, Sharon? I guess chocolate. Sold. Pistachio man? That would be me. Okay. Thank you. One left. Think your friend would like it? Yeah, he'll eat it. Thanks, yeah. thanks. I don't like it. That is not true. He loves ice cream. He's just being stubborn because I said he would eat it. You don't know the first thing about me. And if you did, I wouldn't be in the bind I am now. There's no end to the things I don't know about you, Louise, or even want to know. But one thing I do know is that you love ice cream. So much so that we went out in the dead of winter to get some, and you loved every last lick. And don't tell me you don't remember. We even got to laughing about something. Sprinkles. That's right. You insisted that the chocolate ones were better. The colored sprinkles roll. Oh, give me a break. It's chocolate or nothing. I guess this is where we part our ways. No. Yep. Don't deal breaker. Told you we were just totally different. I miss the sprinkles. Can't have everything in life you want. Sheridan. The uh, kidnapping complaint has been drawn up. All we need for you to do is sign it and we can get on with it. What exactly do you get on with? Booking Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. Locking him up, taking him before a judge. Sheridan. Sheridan. 